retiring Democratic Senator Ken Conrad has served in the United States Senate for a quarter century, most of it alongside fellow Democrats Byron Dorgan and Earl Pomeroy, who left office following the last election cycle. Conrad is the last man standing of the Democratic political powerhouse term Team North Dakota, and former President Bill Clinton pointed to him while listing off reasons voters should elect North Dakota's new slate of Democratic candidates. The best reason I can give you is Kent Conrad's whole career. And I want to thank him and Lucy for his stunning service to our country over a long period of time. And because I wasn't here when they left office, but they served with me so well. I want to thank Byron Dorgan, too. Thank you, Byron and Kim. Thank you, Earl Pomeroy and Mary. This year's Democratic Convention in Grand Forks officially marks the end of an era in North Dakota politics. Team North Dakota, it was an extraordinary opportunity. But you know what? Time marches on, things change, a new generation is available to... Uh, uh, take up the challenge, and uh, that's the case here in this convention. Life goes on, uh, but whenever we get together, Kent, Byron, and me, especially with members of the Democratic L NPL family at a convention, it really is a special homecoming type of experience. That's what I feel being here this weekend. President Clinton credits Team North Dakota for his success. I loved the North Dakota Democrats when I got to Washington because they believed in arithmetic. <laughs> you know, when we wound up having three surpluses, and I left a fourth one for the next president, but he decided to give it away. And people used to ask me all the time, what magic new idea did you bring to economic policy making? And I said, arithmetic. I had this dumb idea of two and two were four in Little Rock. It might still be four when I got to Washington. Looking back at his presidency, I think we should all remember that we enjoyed the longest period of uninterrupted growth in the history of the United States of America. That's the Clinton legacy. He left all of the votes. He raised incomes for everyone in America. That is the proud record. Bill but North Dakota Republicans aren't buying what the Democrats are selling. They're going to try and create a different picture of the Clinton administration than, than what really was the case in the 1990s. And uh, the Clinton administration was one of the most corrupt presidencies we've, presidencies we've had. Democrats say it's critical to elect former Attorney General Heidi Heitkamp to the U.S. Senate, former State Representative Pam Gullison to the U.S. House, and State Senate Minority Leader Ryan Taylor to the Governor's Office. But Republicans say Americans would be best served by the GOP ticket. They all come to, uh, to the ballot in November with uh, a lot to offer North Dakotans, not only in uh, the way that our candidates who uh, are running to go to Washington will, will govern Washington, but in the way that our candidates within the state do have a clear vision for where the state is going and they do have a clear vision for developing our natural resources in a responsible way. Senator Dorgan says North Dakota voters are independent-minded, and that will be a factor in this election cycle. North Dakotans are notorious for splitting their ballots, splitting their tickets. I was elected during the Reagan landslide in uh, the 1980 election. Uh, but North Dakotans uh, are going to take a look at the candidates on both sides. Uh, both political parties will endorse strong and good candidates. I'm someone who believes that both parties contribute mightily to this country, uh, and so both parties will endorse good people, and I think uh, I'm very proud of those that we have endorsed. Congressman Pomeroy says he is happy with his new life, but it is nice to reflect on the past. There were an awful lot of election cycles that I was able to stand with Kent Conrad and Byron Dorgan, and in between time, we did our best working as a team to deliver for North yeah. Dakota. These are times that I will always cherish. I'm so incredibly grateful to the voters for giving us those opportunities over the years. And, and honestly, to work with Senator Conrad and Senator Dorgan was as close as I'm going to have the experience of playing with the New York Yankees. I mean, th these guys are the best.